Do you get frustrated during FUD champs? And does this affect your performance? And do you want to go back to a time where you played FIFA for fun, but still get good results? Well, I have six tips that will- <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Good luck making this horrible game fun. Like, you're just clickbaiting these people. There's no one who can make FUD champions fun. This is my fifth controller this year already. Just hear me out and let me know what you think after these six tips. Because these six tips will give you better performance. And most important of all, will give you fun while doing it. Personally, the last tip helped me the most, so make sure you stay for that. But let's just get into it. Tip 1. Play with players you enjoy. Yeah, of course. Just play with players you enjoy. How can I enjoy anything if my players forget to pause, defend? They just don't do anything. How is fun players gonna help? Just gonna make it worse. Yeah, I... I know what you mean, but even when the game is difficult, even when you struggle, if you play with players that you enjoy, it just makes it more fun and therefore you can concentrate better. When I say play with players you enjoy, there are two different things with that. First of all, play with players that fit your playstyle. If you like to dribble a lot, there's no need to put a big player there that apparently is very good because it just doesn't fit you. So don't just go for meta players, but go with players that they just fit you. It's about finding those hidden gems that bring something unique to your team. And the second part of that, it can also be players that have a sentimental value to you. Did you love watching them in real life or did you love playing with them in the past years on FIFA? Those will bring joy to you if you can manage to recreate maybe even stuff that they did in real life. It just makes you have so much more fun in the game. So don't always follow the meta, but learn from that and combine that with players that fit you and you enjoy playing with. Tip 2. Try different formations and tactics. Now, I know you're frustrated, but did you ever try to change stuff up? Did you use different formations, different tactics? It might just be that little thing that makes you perform better. Oh, like changing formations is magically gonna fix everything. I tried everything, man, come on. Nothing works, it doesn't matter. Every week is the same. Trust me, I've been there too. But the beauty of FIFA is that there are so many formations right now and you can adjust your tactics to whatever you want, that it just makes it so much easier to try different things. Try to change into something that isn't maybe fully meta. Try to change into something that fits your playstyle a bit more. Let me explain. It's not about randomly trying random stuff out, right? It's about trying different formations, different tactics that fit your playstyle and your players. Pay attention to how your players are positioned on the field and how they interact with each other. Understand the strengths and weaknesses of the formation of the tactics that you use and adjust it in how you want to play. It's not about just following the meta and what the pro players are using, but learn from them and adjust it to what you play. If you love to do crosses, then there's no need to have a very tight formation that you can not do a cross with. So adjust it to your own abilities. Tip 3. Analyze and adapt. Analyze? What do you want to analyze? You want to analyze what the cheapest controller is that I can buy after I break this one? Bro, my opponents are always lucky. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just an Mbappe, a Warren and Kane simulator. Those sweats just run towards the goal and nothing can stop them. I get it. Sometimes it feels like the game is just against us. But we can try to minimize the risk. And there are two ways to do that. Analyze your own gameplay. Look at your defensive positioning, your decision making in attack, and your overall game management. Are there patterns you notice? Are there areas where you consistently struggle? By identifying these aspects, you can adjust your tactics based off that. For example, if you concede a lot through the middle of the field, adjust the custom tactics to have a more narrow team. That way they cannot push through the middle that easily and see if that works for you. Also, don't forget to look at your strengths and how you can optimize them. Are you, for example, good at long shots like me? Make sure you have players that actually have good long shots and use tactics that give you some more space on the midfield so you have the space to do those long shots. Well, I, I suppose I could try it and analyze my own gameplay, but in the end, it's not gonna matter. The opponent does what he wants anyways. Well, that's where the next part of this tip comes into play. Analyze your opponent. Of course, analyzing your opponent needs to be done quickly because you of course have only one game. But there are a few ways to do that. Check the opponent's team before the game starts. Don't skip it. Check their players. What players does he have? What kind of playstyle would fit with that? And what formation would he use? You can already anticipate then on those players and those tactics, which saves you energy during the game. This way you don't concede first before you realize what is happening. It will just give you that edge. And of course, there are always sweaty players who keep abusing certain mechanics, like a kickoff glitch or a Gorna glitch. And yeah, it's annoying and hard to defend against that. 
But it's not impossible. Rather than spending your energy complaining about it, try to use that energy in stopping it. For example, a Gorna glitch. Just move your goalie, and when he adapts to you, adapt to him. Play that adjustment game. As long as you keep adapting, he needs to do something else and he eventually will do something that makes him uncomfortable and you can get the upper hand because of that. Yeah, I guess. But no matter what I do, the opponent keeps getting the ball back. And if I tackle them, it's a penalty. Even if I didn't do anything wrong. And when they do something like that to my player, the referee is blind. Doesn't see anything. Talking about not doing anything, the same counts for my goalie. He doesn't do anything. Well, you do have a good point there. And that actually brings me to my next tip. Tip 4. Accept the flaws of the game. It can be frustrating when luck is always on the other side. But sadly, FIFA is not only skill based. There are just things that are inconsistent and we cannot change that. Instead of getting caught up in the frustration, focus on what you can control. The decisions you make, the strategies you use and the improvements you can make to your own game. It maybe doesn't feel that way, but their goalie is as bad as your goalie. And the referee also makes mistakes towards them. If their goalie saves everything, just try a different shot or use one more or one less pause and bring yourself in a different position to shoot. It could just help you to get a few more goals in. Tip five, manage expectations. Managing expectations? Seriously? I have high expectations because I know I can do better, but the game is just against me. And besides that, the rewards are very bad as well. Like what's even the point? It's just frustration every week. I understand your frustrations, and I've been caught up in them as well. But in the end, we play games to have fun. Even if you want to improve, you still want to have fun while doing it. I genuinely enjoy the game, as long as I don't have to grind too much. But me learning a new skill move or a new way to shoot just brings me joy. So if you get frustrated, just take a step back, embrace the journey, and keep having fun no matter what happens. It is important to set realistic expectations for yourself. Touch champs can give you a lot of pressure because the potential in rewards are unique and can be massive. But let's be real, the rewards are usually very disappointing. So what's the point of putting so much pressure on yourself that you don't even have fun while doing it? Just take it one step at a time and just accept what happens. But now we're at the last and most important tip in my opinion, tip six, balance and relaxation. I know you can get really frustrated about the game, but remember, we usually play games to relax and have fun. Taking breaks, hydrating, and even stretching can all help to a better mindset and overall enjoyment of the game. Staying mentally healthy should be your main priority at all times. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. While well, you're sipping water or stretching, I'm here wanting to stretch my controller. But in the end, there's so much to grind. There, there's no time for breaks. I need to continue. Trust me, I've been in that headspace before. But getting frustrated and allowing the game to do so will only ruin your performance. There's no benefit from it. By taking short breaks, having some water nearby and stretching your body, for example, just stand up after every game, you'll give yourself, your mind and your body a chance to reset and refocus. It's about finding balance between that competitive drive and self-care. Plus, if you can concentrate better, you will perform better and you can let that sweat rage quit. So next time you feel frustration coming up, take a moment to breathe, hydrate and release any tension in your body. It might seem small, but these actions can really make a big difference in keeping you calm and enjoy the game. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. If you really say it works for you, Maybe it does work for me. That's good to hear. Let me know what you thought of it when you actually tried it. And for you, let me know what tip you are going to try out and let me know how it feels. Remember, we're all about positive vibes here, but these tips will also make you a better player. And if you wanna see how I use these tips on FIFA, I have a whole series about Zlatan Ibrahimovic and how to build up your club. So if you wanna see how I do it, you can check it out right here.